Hey guys, thanks for joining me for this live coach sneak peek. I'm so glad to have you. So I made these slides and the last time I did this I did it with a Zoom call. Um, but I think that was kind of confusing for people that are unfamiliar with Zoom. And so I decided to just do a live video this time. But I can't share a screen on a live video so I'm just going to like show you the slides, even though you can't really see them that well. But I'll be talking about them, so it's okay. Um, so welcome to our Coach Opportunity Call. I'm so excited to have you guys here. Um, the cool thing about coaching is you get to choose who you work with. And so I've invited you here because I think that you would make a good coach for whatever reason. And I'm sure I already told you why I invited you. So, um... Today we're going to cover what is coaching all about. I know you can't read this, but I can, so I'm just going to read it to you. Um, we'll talk about what is a Beachbody coach, what's required to become a coach, how do you get paid, how do you build a team, and then we'll also go through common concerns. So is this a pyramid scheme? Um, I'm not a salesperson, that's one of the big ones. I don't have a large network. Um, and I'm not at my goal weight. So those are all the reasons why pe people typically are nervous to give this a try. I know I was had all those concerns. So I just want to talk to you really quickly about my story. I don't think you can see this that well. I'm going to bring it up closer. So um, I start back in 2008. That's where Brian and I, we got married. Brian's my husband. We moved to Texas. That's where he's from. We're now in Michigan. That's where I'm from. But we moved to Texas, we get married, we're about to graduate college, well we did graduate college, and things didn't go like we thought they would. We both struggled to find jobs. Um, I graduated with an elementary education degree and I could not find a job. I subbed for five years before I found a permanent teaching job. And then he um, was business marketing and he struggled also to find a job and he didn't even really like his degree he ended up finally switching to construction he found a field that he loved which is so important but for the first five years of our marriage we struggled we had no money um, we couldn't afford anything and we just kind of sat and watched our friends pass us by they were getting their good careers they were buying houses they were having babies and we were just kind of stuck we couldn't find jobs we lived with my in-laws for a long time um, it it was hard and so that was 2009. 2012, Brian finally decided to make his career switch to construction. He started at the bottom though, so still not making a lot of money, but we also made the decision to move back to Michigan. And so we moved back to Michigan. Well, before we moved back, like two weeks before we were about to move, I found out that I was pregnant. And we were so, well, I was very excited. Brian was very stressed out because we've just made this huge life change. We were starting, he was starting a new job, we were moving across the country, and I'm pregnant. And so, but I was excited. It felt like life was finally starting for us. Um, so we moved back, Brian got a job right away in construction. Uh, we started looking for houses, which was exciting. We could never afford a house before, and now it felt like, oh, we can afford a house. Um, we looked for the whole summer, and we finally found one, and it fell through because we couldn't afford a house. <laughs> we thought we could, we could not. And so a month before we were supposed to have our daughter, um, we were scrambling to find a place to live because the house we were supposed to close on three times fell through. And so we were scrambling to find a place that would rent to us with two 70-pound dogs. Not easy. Um, thankfully, we had a really good realtor, and he got us into a place. And so, you know, it was frustrating, stressful, but at least we were still on track for our family. Um, and so, going to labor, very excited, because we're going to have our daughter. We're finally going to get to meet her. Um, everything was going well, and we get to the end of labor, we hit transition, and we lose our heartbeat. And I... Brian was concerned. I was obviously concerned, but I knew that nothing was wrong. I just had to work harder to get her here. And 
Everyone would see that she was fine. All the doctors were telling me her heartbeat was gone, but I didn't believe that. I just knew I had to work harder, get her here, and everyone would see she was fine. Well, um, when her head was born and I saw her for the first time, I realized I was the one that was wrong and everyone else was right. And you know how you have distinctive moments in life where everything changes for you? Well, that was my moment. Um, I felt like we had been living this rat race, trying to keep up with everyone, and in that moment, I decided to be done. I didn't care about anything. Um, I don't know if you guys are Christians, but I really held on to that verse, you're not of this world, this isn't, you're, this is not your permanent home. I wasn't suicidal or anything, but I just, I made a conscious decision in that moment to give up. I didn't care about anything anymore at all. And so I did. I gave up. I um, I didn't try to get a job anymore. I kind of fell into a job because I, I had been subbing. Um, so I did end up getting a job, but I just, from that moment, I was sleepwalking through life. And I, the only thing I did care about was getting pregnant again. And that wasn't happening. It took us a year before we could get pregnant again. Um, but I just went through the motions. I sat on the sidelines. I didn't really, I didn't even listen to the radio when I was driving. I didn't care about anything and um, outside of getting pregnant again. And so fast forward to 2014, we have Jack. So I did get pregnant and that pregnancy was full of fear. There was no joy. Um, because I knew that I was capable of carrying a baby. I also knew I was not capable of delivering a healthy baby. And so I was stressed the entire time. We didn't tell anyone that we were pregnant until 20 weeks. And then we just told our families because Brian made me. Uh, I let my coworkers just figure it out as I got bigger. Um, so... Yeah, that was that was kind of how I lived life. Just sad and but then Jack got here. So that was 2014. And because I had spent that whole year um being sad and missing my daughter, I felt like I was not allowed to be sad or frustrated or be anything but grateful that whole first year of his life. So I threw myself into being a mom and a wife, and that was that was who I was. And I'm not complaining. I'm grateful that I get to be a mom and a wife. Um, but at the same time, it's really easy to lose yourself. So I had, I didn't realize it. I thought, okay, I'm good now. I'm happy. I've got Jack. But I still, there was no me in there, if that makes any sense. I still didn't know, it. I didn't even have music that I liked, that I listened to. I had no interests. I didn't read for fun. I had no hobbies. I had nothing that I did outside of, if Jack was sleeping, I would read blogs about parenting or do laundry. I had nothing that I, that made me me. I had completely disappeared. And I was still disappeared from that two years of kind of sleepwalking. Um, I had even gotten off of Facebook. I re-got on Facebook after we had Jack just because it's nice to connect to people. Brian works construction, so he's gone all the time in the summer. So it was just me and Jack, me and this little baby who is great but doesn't talk. <laughs> so I was a silent stalker on Facebook. I never posted. I never commented or liked on anyone's stuff. I just silently watched people live their lives. Um, and one of those people that I was watching was my coach. Her name is Shannon. And she was not like me at all. She was, she looked like a model. She had this really glamorous life. She was always traveling. She was doing fun things. Um, she was, I knew she was a health and fitness coach. She was working out. I was never a person that worked out. I didn't like working out. I had zero interest in working out. My experience with working out was... I'll go to the gym and spend enough time on the elliptical to burn off 256 calories because that's how much I need to eat a Snickers bar on the way home. I never saw results from that, which is shocking. Um, so, and then I would see her posting her pictures of her food. 
and I would think, her food looks good, but I don't want to be restricted, so not for me. And then she'd post pictures of Shakeology, and I was 100% against Shakeology. I'm not going to drink some weird fake protein shake. There's no way. Ha, eating my words, now look at me. Um, so I watched her for a year before I reached out. She didn't even know I existed because she would tag her husband in her posts. And so I would just silently creep on her page and look at like what she was posting and want to try, but I was way too afraid. And so after a year, I finally started saying to Brian, jokingly bringing up this coaching opportunity. And of course, my husband, being my husband, is a risk taker. He's not afraid of anything, and he kept saying, you should try it. Well, I don't really want to work out. I'm not going to drink Shakeology. And he's like, well, then I guess you probably wouldn't make a good coach. And so, but I kept talking about it and finally said, you need to just try it. You keep talking about it. So I reached out to her. She told me I had to do Shakeology to be in her group. She didn't say it like that, but she said, if you want to be a coach, you've got to be a product of the product. That means you're doing the exercises, you're following the meal plans, and you're drinking Shakeology. Nope, not going to do it. And so it took me a few more months after that to finally try a challenge pack. So that's 2015. I finally decide after thinking about it for a year, I'm going to just do it. So I got the 21 day fix challenge pack and I signed up as a coach and I joined my first challenge group which was May of 2015. And it was the best decision of my life because I didn't realize that I was still sleepwalking through life. I thought I was good. I thought I was okay. But then what happened is I went from being a hermit, basically, just me and Jack all day every day by ourselves at home, to it felt like this whole world was opened up to me. I was put into this challenge group, and if you guys haven't gone through a challenge group, it's pretty amazing. It's just a closed group with women who are working on goals to be healthy. And they're positive and supportive. They share their struggles along with their successes. So you get to see, wow, these people are not fit people. These people are people just like me. These people are people that like dessert. They're people that don't love working out, but they're doing it, and they're trying, and they're being successful, and yes, they fail sometimes, but they still get up the next day and try again. And it was eye-opening for me to see that I wasn't this weird, like, wallflower. All these other women were just like me. And so it did a few things for me. It opened me up, and it got me talking to people. I made friends, so I went into that group with the intentions of living it the way I lived my life, being a wallflower, not talking to anyone. I would just quietly go in and read the posts. I'd read what other people were doing. I was not going to post. I was not going to comment. I, like, who would want to read my comments anyways? That's how I always thought. Um, but I, in the first week, I started to get brave and bold, and I would like people's posts. And I started commenting on people's posts, and something pretty incredible happened. The more I liked and commented on other people's posts, the more motivated I was to try harder in my workouts and to do better with my food. Because the more you encourage someone else, the more you're encouraged to do your own stuff. You can't sit there and encourage someone to do their workout or to make a good food choice while you're eating a pizza or skipping your own. It just doesn't work. You can try it, but it doesn't work. And so these women were energizing me. They were empowering me. They were making me feel good. They made me, they gave me a sense of community that I didn't even know that I was lacking or that I was missing. And it was awesome. Um, I was not sleeping. I had a newborn. Um, well, he was eight months by that point, but he would sleep for maybe 45 minutes a time at night and would nap for maybe 20 minutes during the day. And so everyone's like, oh, sleep when the baby sleeps. Okay, when's that? Never. So I wasn't getting any more sleep, but I had so much energy. Why? Because I was exercising, I was eating right, and I was drinking the right amount of water. 
You have no idea how good you are capable of feeling until you start doing those things. Exercise, eating right, drinking the right amount of water. What you put into your body is fuel, and it's hard to see food that way. But once you start looking at it like that, and you start feeling the difference, it's pretty incredible. And so I had so much energy, I was feeling good, and again, I went into this... I didn't have any kind of goals as far as my health and fitness went. All I was doing was testing a product to see if I liked it well enough to maybe make some money on the side at home. I had no one, I didn't, I was surprised, this is dumb, but I was surprised at the end of it that I had good results. Because duh, if you're going to work out and eat right, you're going to get results. But it hadn't occurred to me that that was going to happen. So just in the first week I felt more energy. Um, by the end of that challenge group, and by the end of the first week, I knew coaching's for me. Just this, this community that was created for me, that gave me, it filled this spot in my life that I needed, and I wanted to do that for other people. By the end of the challenge, I only lost five pounds, but I had lost ten inches. I had gotten rid of the kangaroo pouch you get from having babies. I was shocked. I was fitting into shorts that I hadn't fit into since college. I was shocked that that those things were happening for me. And so if I could do it, if I could say no to my daily multiple handfuls of chocolate chips and have my Shakeology instead, then other people could do it. If I could fit in 30 minutes of workout every single day, even though I didn't like working out, I knew that other people could do it. And so that has been my mantra throughout all of my coaching is if I can do it, you can do it. I was the girl that could eat, I probably still could, an entire hot and ready pizza by myself. I have done that on multiple occasions, more times than I can count. So if I can eat right and make good food choices, then anyone can. I know that. Um, So, it's just exciting. I learned that coaching is not just about making money on the side. In fact, if that's what it's about for you, you're not going to be successful. It's about empowering other people. And so I'm jumping ahead of myself. So that was 2015. 2016, we have our son, our second son, Devin. Um, and shortly after that, so nope, 2017. So in February, we found out that we were invited on the Success Club trip. And for those of you unfamiliar with that, Beachbody, I mean, all the multi-level marketing companies offer some kind of trip for people that earn it. Beachbody is super easy to earn. How do I know that? Because I earned it. (laughs) I earned it in the same year I had a baby. I took six months off for having Devin, and I still earned the trip. And so when I got that invitation, I started coaching, and I thought, I'm going to make this success. I'm going to be successful at this. But I've never in my life had confidence. I've slowly been building it through coaching. When I got that invite to the trip, that is when I realized, no, I can really be successful at this and make a real difference to people. I've been making a real difference to people. I've been helping people see what they're capable of. It's the most rewarding job I've ever had. And on top of that, we get perks like getting to go. I got to go on an all-inclusive beach vacation to Punta Cana. My whole family got to go stay in a five-star resort. My husband got to go golfing at a world-renowned golf course. All the food, alcohol, everything was completely paid for for five days. It was insane. And so that trip showed me, A, what kind of company Beachbody is. I am not this high, highly ranked crazy coach. I am a regular coach, and I was able to earn it Yet, I was on the same exact trip as all those high coaches were. There was nothing different between my trip, the trip I went on, and the ones that they went on. Except for they got a free gift and like an extra nice dinner one of the nights. But other than that, I got to do everything that they got to do. Including the $750 credit to do like any of the excursions we wanted to do. So they literally just gave us a free trip and said, go enjoy yourselves. Good job this year. It was awesome. Um, But so that really is what gave me the confidence, like, yeah, I can be successful. This this is a for real legit opportunity. So moving on, Team Simply Fit. That is the team that 
I created back in 2015 when I first started coaching because when I jump into something, I jump in with both feet full force. So I finished my first challenge group and immediately ran my own challenge group the next month. That is not normal. Most of the time, people will shadow their coaches, their upline, and invite to their groups and then co-run a group and then run their own, which is what you would be able to do with me. I like the saying, you walk, I walk, you run, I run. If you want to run your own group right off the bat, I'll help you do that. If you want to invite to mine, you can do that too. So it's up to you. So Team Simply Fit, that is the name of our team. Founded by me, Melissa Furness. Um, we have 25 coaches currently, and we are part of the number one team in Beachbody three years running. So my upline is Shannon Hargrave, and hers is Melanie Mitro, and Melanie Mitro is the number one team. So that's pretty awesome because we get all the resources of the big team, um, but also then you get the feel of a smaller team. So it's it's like drinking out of a fire hose, but because we're a smaller subset of the big team, I can distill all of that information for you. So, and then I put this quote, a coach is someone who gives people the confidence they need to change their lives. That is what coaching is all about. People have no confidence. I realize now that i am co been coaching, I'm not unique in not having confidence. That is a common theme among almost all of my challengers. And as a coach, your job is not to sell things. Yes, you sell challenge, what's called challenge packs, but you're giving them the tools they need to be successful. But then that's really where it starts. From there, it's your job to make sure that they get results and that they hit the goals that they set out to hit. And of course, they've got to do the work, but you're helping them get there. So let's look at all of the options. And it's hard for you guys to see. I know. I'm sorry. And it's backwards. <laughs> I didn't think about that. But so what are your options when you become an adult? You can go to college, which the average tuition is 35000 for a four-year degree with no guarantee of a job afterwards. Most people choose this route. You go to college even though a college degree does not equal a job, as both my husband and I learned the hard way. Um, or instead of going to college, you can work just an hourly job for the average salary is like 40000 and then you get an average of 11 vacation days out of 365 days in the year. That's insane. Um, or you can become a business owner and you can be a franchisee. The average cost to start a franchise is $35,000. Um, and then the average annual profit for a franchisee is $66,000. And that's after you've been established. But it usually takes a business three to five years to get off the ground and running. So... What would you do if you could own a franchise for $40 instead of the average? Like the franchisee, so the risk ranges from $10,000 to $200,000 plus dollars. And many franchisees mortgage their house, they use all of their savings to invest. Let's say you want to open a subway. You put everything you have into that subway. So what are the benefits? The franchisee... The brand, um, or the person that's the franchisee, they have skin in the game, and they see themselves as an owner because they've put everything they have into this business, and so they have to make it work because they've invested in it, and they so they live, breathe, eat Subway, <laughs> um, and so as a result, they have a vested interest and they work harder than anyone else that works for them so that they can ensure that they're successful. They don't want that investment to go to waste. So now compare that to coaching. So let's say you sign up and you get your own franchise, which really you're an independent coach. So you basically just sell Beachbody products, but you are your own business. Um, so let's say you invest the $40. Or if you get a challenge pack, that is waived. So let's say you invest nothing. So the risk is the cost of sign up as a coach, which is the $39.95 and then the $15.95 after. So $15.95 a month after, and that maintains your websites. Um, but that $40 fee is waived, and if you're a veteran or if you're currently in the military, all of those fees are waived too. So the bad part about coaching is because 
of the low startup cost, 40 bucks, or the free startup cost, people kind of treat it as when it's convenient, I'll do it. And so that's why some people don't see as much success or they go a lot slower. That's why I've gone slower is as I've had babies, I've just kind of put it on the back burner. But you can look at that as a benefit too. The only person you're disappointing if you're not working is yourself because you are your own boss. Um, so some people treat it as a hobby. If they're to become their best coach, um, then their potential is limitless. All right, so let's keep going. So another thing, benefit of being a franchisee. You buy into an established brand, so Subway. Everyone knows what Subway is. You just create a Subway store. People already know the sandwiches. They see the marketing. Subway pays for the commercials and the billboards, and they do all of the like branding and logoing. It's all done for you. You just open a store and start selling stuff. So the company takes care of mainstream marketing, and they take on the risk of new product development and t testing. So Subway makes the new sandwiches. They are the ones that take on the risk. So if they decide to make a sandwich that no one likes, that's not going to affect you negatively. Coaching is a lot the same. You are starting in with a known brand. P90X, Insanity, Shakeology, 21 Day Fix. People already know this. Um, I don't remember. Beachbody spends 150 plus million on mainstream marketing through infomercials. Radio commercials, Facebook advertisements, people know the names. But, and so just a little background on coaching, why was that even offered? Beachbody had no problem selling P90X. That is the program that they started with. What they had a problem was with people actually taking it out of the box and doing it. What they found was the people that interacted with each other on the forums and were saying, I do this too, um, this is what works for me, did you do your workout today? They were finding that those were the people that got results. So they decided, why don't we offer this as an opportunity? Um, so coaches get a percentage of whatever it is they sell, but they have a vested interest in that person to help them make sure that they take it out of the box, that they do the workouts, that they follow the meal plan, and they help them. That's what your job is. That's your number one job as a coach, is to help people get results. Um, so anyway, moving on. Franchisee, the guidelines. So this is where Beachbody's awesome. If you were to start a Subway, you have to do what Subway does. You can't make your own billboard. You can't brand yourself differently. You can't create your own sandwiches. You do what Subway tells you to do. With coaching, you have the ability to create and brand yourself specifically to what you like to do. Oh, my battery would be dying. Oh, well, I'm almost done. <laughs> so, for example, I love to eat, I love food, I love cooking, and so that's kind of how I've branded myself. So many people struggle with that. And so that's what I do. I've kind of made it a fun game to figure out how to clean up people's favorite recipes. You like bis biscuits, biscuits and gravy? Let's figure out how to make that healthy. Maybe we can even stuff some vegetables in that. <laughs> but that's my goal. If you don't like cooking, you don't know how to cook, there are tons of coaches that don't know how to cook but they really like fitness or they really are into their faith. Um, you can take whatever makes you uniquely you and turn that into your coaching business. In fact, that's encouraged because you want to attract people to you who you're going to relate to. You don't want to attract the entire world because you're not going to want to help the entire world and work with the entire world. You want to work with other people who are like you that you get along with, that you want to develop relationships with. This is a relationships-based business. So, um, that's what's cool, that's what's different about coaching, is you're encouraged to create your own brand. So, what do Beachbody coaches do, really? So, it's simple. Work on your own transformation. So, that's number one. You have to be a product of the product. That means you're getting up, you're doing your workouts, you're eating... You're following a meal plan. You're drinking your Shakeology. And then you share it. So I just have a few pictures of like... And if you're friends with me, you know that I share. I share my workouts every day. I share recipes all the time. I share my transformation. Because again, my mantra is if I can do it, then you can do it. And I want people to see that. When I 
fail. When I eat a donut, when I skip my workout, when I don't do a great job at whatever it is I feel like I should be doing good at, I share that too because I want people to see I'm a real person. I don't always want to work out. I don't always make the best choices. But the important part is you get back up and you try again the next day. You're never failing. The only time you fail is if you stay down or if you quit. Um, so anyway, so you work on your own transformation, and then you invite your friends and family to do it with you. So think about it. If you try a great restaurant, you tell people about it, right? Because you want other people to eat at that restaurant too if it was good. This is more than that. I've never been in shape like I am now. I've never felt like this. I've never had this much energy. I've never had this kind of strength, flexibility, coordination. I've never been toned like this. I've never wanted to wear a bathing suit in public before. Not that I want to, but I'm not uncomfortable anymore. I've never in my life felt any of these things. Why would I not want to share that with the people that I care about? I want everyone to feel the way that I feel. I want everyone to learn that they're capable of doing it too. I am not special or unique. There's nothing about me that makes it easier for me or that... I used to look at fit people, like my coach. I would assume, yeah, well, she's probably never had a piece of cake in her life and she probably doesn't care about cake. Not true. She had to work to be a fit person, just like I had to, and I want other people to see you can have your cake and eat it too, but you can. You can make this a lifestyle to where you're not cutting out carbs and living on apple cider vinegar and berries. Yes, that's a real diet, um, but you can eat a well-balanced meal or a well-balanced diet, do your workouts, and you can hit your goals while still budgeting in cake, and I'm getting off point. But, so then you grow as a person through personal development. I rolled my eyes at this the first year and a half of coaching. Personal development is important because you can't pour from an empty cup, and that's what personal development does. Whether it's podcasts, listening to books on tape, reading books, um, your Bible, whatever it is, wherever you get... Um, empowered or you get just positive messages from and we have tons of really good books that we can recommend for you and then you share your story so that's kind of what you do on social media you share what you're doing and I already talked about that so how does it work here's this picture you start working on you and inspire a few people to start their journey who then inspire a few others who then inspire a few others you pay it forward so you're at the top and you're inspiring people. So this is where I was worried. Wait a second. This is a pyramid scheme, isn't it? No. <laughs> so a pyramid scheme is when people are selling something that doesn't actually exist, not a real product. If you think about it, everything in life is set up like a pyramid. So like this is the military structure. Whoops. Dang it. I skipped ahead. My husband's laptop has a touch screen that I'm not used to. So anyway, this is the military's setup. Here are the soldiers down here, the commander-in-chief up here. It's shaped like a pyramid. This is any business. The CEO is up at the top. He makes the most money. And then just the employees are at the bottom. And then you have the middle-level management in the middle. It looks like a pyramid. Well, it's the same structure. Um, so... But what's cool about Beachbody, before I go on to that, is how often does the employee, or what are the chances that a regular employee is going to become the CEO of the company they work for someday? Not very good, right? Probably really small. I would say like a 1% chance that they would become the CEO. With Beachbody, this day you sign up to be a coach, you are the CEO of your own business. You decide how fast or slow you're going to be, you decide how successful you're going to be. And because we're part of the number one team in Beachbody, we have the trainings, the resources, the scripts, we have the people, we have everything that you need in order to become successful. So, that leads me into my next slide. What kind of support will you get? 
So peer support, this was from a Super Saturday. That's just Beachbody's quarterly meeting we do. Um, and then nutrition and fitness. So you get the all the meal plans, Shakeology. You get all world-renowned trainers um, and all those fitness programs. So I'll go into that on the last slide. Do I have to sell stuff? That is one of the top questions. That was my biggest problem. I'm not a salesperson. I suck at sales. So I got a job as a teller when we were first married at Wells Fargo. I didn't realize being a teller was a sales job, but it is. And so I was in my manager's office every week talking about my sales numbers because they sucked. I was at zero pretty much every single week. And she would talk to me every week about tips and tricks on how I could do better at selling things. I wasn't going to do better. I don't like to sell things. And if I don't believe somebody needs something, I'm not going to tell them to get it. And that point blank, sorry, I'm. you can fire me. I'm not good at this job. And so I was in real trouble of getting fired until they came out with a product that I believed in. They came out with the way to save savings account, and I still think it's amazing. And if you're a customer of Wells Fargo, you should totally get it if you don't have it already. What it does is every time you spend anything with your debit card or you do a bill pay, they automatically transfer a dollar from your checking account to your savings account. And so at the end of the month, you have like $287 that you didn't intentionally save. How cool is that? We were broke at the time. There was no way we could save money. But I wasn't going to miss a dollar, an extra dollar for every transaction. We signed up for it. We saved money. And so I told every single customer that came in, you have to get this. Why would you not get this? I went from being the lowest sale teller with the lowest sales to the top one on the board every week because I believed in what I was telling people. You need this. Why would you not get it? That's how I feel about Beachbody. There are over 600 workouts. There's a workout for everyone. This can change any person's life. I 100% believe that. People don't know how to cook, they don't know how to meal plan, and they don't know how to fit workouts into their daily lives. You do these at home, like, this has changed my life, and I know that it can change other people's lives. I am passionate about it. I know that it can help people, and that's why I'm a coach. Anyway, so you're not selling stuff. You're sharing stuff with people that you believe 100% that they need. That is why when you are talking to people, you never message someone, buy the 21-day fix, it's on sale. No. You find out what is it, what are their goals, first of all, and we talk about all this stuff in coach trainings, but you find, you ask questions, you ask several questions, so before you ever recommend anything to anyone, you know what their goals are, you know what their struggles are, you know what they what's worked for them in the past and what hasn't. You know what kind of cravings they have. You know everything about that person in order to help them be successful. And based on that, that's how you recommend a program to them. So it's not selling stuff. We don't just sell stuff. We provide solutions to help others successfully achieve their goals. The challenge pack is just the beginning. Once someone gets a challenge pack, that's when the real work starts. So if you are not willing to commit to helping someone see through, like see them through at least the first 30 days of reaching their goals, this is not the job for you. <laughs> um, how do you make money? You make money in two ways. You get a 25% commission off of anything that you sell, sell. That's how you make money in the beginning as a coach. Then as you start growing a team, as you start getting people who are challengers, who are awesome at being challengers, and you say, hey, you should coach, and they start coaching, you start making money from your team, and that's called team volume. And so I have my um, pay stubs on here. I will put this in the files section of the group so you guys can actually see it, but you're not going to be able to see it on this screen. So I just kind of say how I make money. Um, my first week, you get paid weekly, so my first week I made 40 bucks, and I was really excited to make that because I thought no one would be interested in doing this with me. 
Um, but And then now I average about $300 a week. My goal is to be at about $1,000 a week by September, and I 100% believe that I can do it. So here is earning potential. These are all coaches on our team. Oh, my laptop's going to die. These are all coaches on our team. Um, they've been doing it for an average of like three to six years. But, and I, once again, I'll post this, but like they started out seven months as a coach. They were making 500 a week. 11 months a co as a coach, she was making 1100 a week. Um, Lindsay Matway, she's one of the big ones. She was making about 500 a week and then 1000 a week at 19 months. Just showing the earning potential. And none of this is guaranteed. It's all based on your own skill, diligence, and effort. So let's say you are still worried about trying it. What is the worst case scenario if you sign up as a coach? What if no one wants to join you, which is highly unlikely... I thought that no one would want to do a challenge group with me. I ended up having 25 people in my first challenge group as a coach. And I had only been, I announced that I was a coach and started a challenge group right away. And I still had 25 people doing it with me. But I was inviting people because I was on fire excited about it. So what if no one wants to join you? What's the worst case? You invested $40. Unless you get a challenge pack, you invested $0. What happens? You connected with people because you're going to go through a challenge group. You made new friends. You faced your fears. You grew as a person. And you got some results. I've, again, I would never have followed through with my own um, fitness, health and fitness journey if it wasn't for coaching. After I had my last son, I 0% cared about what I looked like, how I felt. I didn't want to exercise. I didn't care about what I ate even. I pretty much existed on Shakeology because it was easy to make, um, but I mean, you know how it is when you have a toddler and a newborn, there's not time to try to be making food for your own self, so I didn't care, and for the first six months, the only reason I continued is because I had pre-planned all of my challenge groups, and I had all these challengers who were looking to me as the coach, and so I had to do it. They carried me through that six months. If it wasn't for them, I definitely would have quit. So coaching is the ultimate form of accountability when it comes to your own personal health and fitness journey because you can't be coaching someone and telling them, hey, did you do your workout today? Even though you didn't do it and you had zero intentions of doing it. That just doesn't work. Um, you can't expect something out of someone else that you are not willing to do yourself. And so coaching's been awesome for me for that case. So what are your options? Let's say you become a coach. There are three different routes you can kind of go, and they're not hard and fast. You can kind of float in between them. But you could be a discount coach. Discount coach is basically someone who just loves the products, but they don't want to coach for real. They have no interest in running a challenge group. They have no interest in inviting people. They just want the discount. You can do that, and then you just get 25% off of your own Shakeology and any stuff that you buy. Um, hobby coach, that's someone who loves the products, they want the discount, they do the challenge groups, and if people ask them about what they do, then they tell them, and they invite them to the challenge group, and they make enough money to pay for their own Shakeology each month. And then there's a business builder, that's what I am. I, my goals are to make enough money to bring my husband home from his construction job. And I know I can do it because other people have done it. My coach did it in two years. I've been coaching for two years now, but I know that I can do it. So you can kind of float in between. Some people start out as a discount coach, but they see results. And as people see you getting results, they naturally ask, what are you doing? How are you doing this? How are you getting results? And they want to know. And as you tell them, then you, I would help you sign them up so that you would get the credit for that. And they kind of end up kind of being just hobby coaches. Um, and so you can float back and forth. Like I was saying when I had my son, um, I didn't care about anything. And so I kind of floated into the hobby coach category for that six months. I did the bare minimum. Um, and I was the only one that was affected by that. So... What our team provides. We provide weekly team training calls. Every Tuesday at 9, I do a live 
video conference through a free video conferencing app where I just talk about a topic my team's struggling with or we talk about game planning for the month, um, just whatever our team needs to go over. I do one for our team. Um, Melanie Mitro, she's the number one coach in Beachbody who we're a part of her team. She does hers every Monday night. Um, and we're invited to any of the other calls that other coaches do. So that's nice. One-on-one -on -one training with your coach. I'm always available for one-on-one -on -one coaching, whether you're my challenger or you're my coach. I will help you. Even if you're not a coach in my downline, I still help you. That's what's so awesome about Beachbody. It's not about competing or taking people from other people. We are always helping each other because the main goal, Beachbody's um, kind of mission, is to end the trend of obesity. And so that's what we're working to do. And so if another coach needs help doing whatever, we help them. It's, it's a community that helps people help other people, if that makes sense. I love that. I, that was one of the things that held me back from Beachbody is I was very intimidated. I felt like it was going to be like a sorority because it was all these pretty fit people. And my impression of pretty fit people in my mind was not a good one. I didn't feel like it'd be welcoming. I was completely wrong. Um, so one-on-one -on -one training with your coach, small group training, and apprenticeships with proven step-by-step -step training for success. So Beachbody's awesome. They recognize that coaches are a huge part of their business, and so they have a um, coach panel that kind of helps the corporate side come out with their trainings. And so Melanie Mitro, our upline, is on that board, and she's created the coach trainings, which we have access to all of her stuff. We have access to all of her training groups. Today started a new coach training group that kind of helps you get your business up and running. Um, so if you decide that you want to coach, I can get you plugged into that. There's a new one that runs every month. And then there are specialized groups. So let's say you want to push to a certain rank. You need help with your social media. You don't know how to invite. You don't know how to have conversations. You want to make an income goal and you don't know how to hit it. There are training groups for all of those. <laughs> It's insane. I'm not kidding when I say it can be like drinking out of a fire hose, but I will help guide you through what you need to know. Um, it's as much as you want to do or as little as you want to do. Social media training, I talked about that. Countless video trainings and manuals depending on your learning preference. So you want to read? We have everything written down in manuals. We have them on websites. We have them in groups on Facebook. We have videos. Every coach has a YouTube channel and you can just go through and watch trainings on whatever topic that you need help with. It's insane how much, how many resources are available. Um, it's a place to dream big and live your best life. Dreams are encouraged. I realize most people are afraid to dream. You kind of get that stomped out of you as a child. You live in elementary school thinking you can be whatever you want to be and somewhere along the way that just gets stomped out and you feel like it's unrealistic to dream big. No, you can dream big. The key is making a plan and figuring out what do I have to do to make this dream happen. You can do anything. You really can. You're capable of anything. The only person stopping you is you. It won't be easy and it will take sacrifice, and that's why so many people don't live out their dreams, but you're capable. That's another thing that coaching has done for me. It's opened my eyes to that. So what do I do next? You're interested. You want to coach. Yay! Now what? <laughs> you have some options. You message the person who invited you to this. Well, I'm assuming I'm the one that invited you to this. Uh, let them know what kind of coach you think you want to be. Whether So do you just want the discount? Do you think you want to sign up as a copy coach or are you all in? You have big dreams and goals. You want to replace an income. You want to bring your husband home. You want to go on the success club trip next year. I don't care what your dreams, I do care what your dreams are. I'm saying I don't care how big they are or if they're, you feel like they're scary. I want to know what they are. And they're not crazy. In fact, the crazier the better. Let me know what kind of coach you're interested in being in, and that way I can help guide you into what you need to know, what kinds of trainings you want to be in. Um, walk you through the sign-up process. There are different ways to sign up. 
If you want to be a hobby coach or a business builder, get involved with the new coach training group. So I have one of those starting today. Be an apprentice coach in your coach's next challenge group. I have another one of those starting today. And then I have a free mini challenge starting next week. I always have groups running. I always have at least one challenge group, at least one mini challenge, at least one free group. And then I always have an ongoing meal plan and prep group. And you are welcome to invite to any and all of my groups. I also have all of the scripts I've ever written in our team page. So you have full access to everything, all of my resources. Anyway, so let's say you want to sign up. There are a few different ways to do it. You can pay the $40 and become a coach, but that would be like crumpling up $40 and throwing it away. Um, the best way to do it is to do a challenge pack. So when I did my challenge pack, I paid $160 for the 21 day fix challenge pack. That got me the program, 30 day free trial to Beach Body on Demand, which at the time was just limited programs. You got the old programs, you got sneak peeks to the new ones, and then full access to any programs you bought, which I had only had the 21 day fix at that time. And then you got a bag of Shakeology. You also got your $40 coach fee waived. So, now that's totally changed. I always tell people to do the all access pass. What is that? It's where you can get full access to every single Beachbody program that's ever been created ever, including the ones that are going to be released this year. So instead of buying one program for $160 with the Shakeology, you get all of them with the Shakeology. And that's really cool because as a coach, people are going to ask you about different programs or you're going to be able to need to recommend different programs based on what people say. And again, we can help you with that in the beginning when you're not familiar with all the programs. Um, so if you get that, that's $160. It's on sale through the end of August, but that waives your coach sign-up fee and it gets you your program, your first bag of Shakeology. And it comes with a 30-day guarantee, so if you don't like it, if it doesn't work for you, you can send it back and get all your money back. Um, so if you think coaching is for you, I will be following up with you if you ask to be a part of this um, live sneak peek and I'll ask you what you thought and we can get you set up and signed up into the coach sneak or the coach new coach basics group because we want to get you started off the right way. So Thank you guys so much for listening to me. I feel like I just ran a marathon. I'm trying to be respectful of your time and condensing this down into um, a small amount of time, but I'm probably sure that I went way over. But thank you so much for listening to me. Let me know what you think. If I invited you here, it's for a reason. It's because I would love to have you on my team. So thank you again for listening, and I will be, ah, I will be in touch.